Good morning children today we are going to start a term 2 and the very first chapter of term 2 is healthy eating now let's see the content of this chapter content there are four points which we are going to discuss in this chapter so the very first point of this chapter will be why do we need food then second point that we are going to discuss about different kinds of food that we eat and why then third point that we are going to discuss is healthy food and junk food and the very last point of this chapter which we are going to discuss is meals that we eat in a day now let's discuss the very first point of this chapter is why do we need food now children why do we need food we need food because we use our body for a number of activities and movement now what are activities and movement now few example of activities and movement which we do daily are like playing then reading then you go to school mama go to market daddy goes to office then you jump you do skipping you make lots of friend you chat lots of activities and movement you do in your daily routine right so what happens after doing all these activities we get tired and we get exhausted and a body needs energy and strength now children after doing all these activities and movement and we get tired what we feel we feel hungry and that's the where when we need food right so this is why we need food now we should eat different kind of food now here we are going to discuss that why we should eat different kind of food now children we should eat different kind of food for the four basic reason first to get energy then second point is to grow third point is to stay healthy and fourth point is to protect us from sickness so these are the four basic reason that we should eat different kind of food now let's see the food which gives us energy few example of the food that gives us energy are rice wheat maize bread butter ghee oil these are the few examples of the food that gives us energy now let's see the food that help us to grow food that help us to grow and few example of the food that helps us to grow are eggs fish meat milk cheese grams cereals pulses so these are the few examples of the food that help us to grow now let's see the food that keeps us healthy and the food that keeps us healthy are vegetables fruits fruit juice eggs yogurt nuts so these are the food that keeps us healthy and we should include include this foods in a daily diet in order to be healthy we should eat all this food now food that protects us from sickness here are the few example of the food that protects us from sickness so here are the let's see the example cabbage spinach lettuce broccoli cauliflower peas lady finger carrot so these are the foods that protects us from sickness now we will know come to we will see few examples of fruit also that protects us from sickness now here we can see 
apple now you all of you know an apple a day gives the doctor away then mango oranges bananas these are the few examples of fruits that protects us from sickness now children i will we will go to our next point that is healthy food and junk food so first we will discuss about healthy food what are healthy food food that gives us energy makes us strong and healthy is called healthy food now food that gives us energy and make us strong and healthy from inside we feel good that food those foods are called healthy food now few examples of healthy food are vegetables fruits milk cereals pulses so these are the food which provides us health it is good for a body and it keeps a body healthy so we should include all this food in a diet now children it one thing more it is very necessary to keep a body hydrated because if we get dehydrated we will not feel good and that's why to in order to keep a body hydrated we should drink at least 6 to 8 glasses of water in a day it helps our body to keep hydrated okay children and it's a very good habit to drink 6 to 8 glasses of water in a day now we will discuss about junk food what are junk food some food are tasty to eat but they are not good for our health such type of food are called junk food now children some food are very tasty to it we love to eat all those food and we very often uh, want uh, complain to our parents that we need we want to eat that this and that but are those food very good for our health no all the foods are not good for health because they may taste good but they are not good for health and the food which are not good for health are called junk food the food which are not good for our health are called junk food now let's see few examples of junk food uh okay we are first we are going to see some properties of junk food see the food usually the junk foods are very sweet salty spicy oily so this all quality where we find we find in a junk food and all these properties are not good for our health now few examples of junk food are sweets cakes burger chips cold drink chocolates pizza samosa this all are example of junk food once in a while if we eat this food it's okay but we should not make daily habit of eating all this food we should not practice of eating all this food in a daily habit okay now as you all know junk food are very sweet now here you can see cake cake is very sweet then chips it is very oily deep fried right then chocolate is also very sweet pizza spicy samosa it is spicy also as well as it is deep fried very oily that's why this all food are not good for our health and these are all junk food now we should say no to all this food for example cold drink burger pizza donuts and fries see this all are junk food and we should say no to all this junk food now we will discuss a last point of this chapter that is different meals in a day our first meal is breakfast and this is the 
first meal of our day and usually we do breakfast between 8 to 9:30 okay then second meal in a day is lunch and usually this we do between 12 to 2 o'clock and this is lunch we do in the middle of a day then third meal is called dinner and this is the last meal of our day and usually we do a dinner between uh, 7 to 9 okay children now ho i hope you have got it all this point please go through this chapter and do a revision part i will i'm going to ask you the question related to the chapter bye bye children please take care